All right, get your seats. Balcony, student attendance, and begin. <laughs> Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, community. Balcony, Jumbi. All right. I can't see a picture. Can or cannot? I can't see your picture. I cannot. Hmm, that's weird because I can't see your picture either. Try uh um try to remove your um try to leave and then try to come back. I don't back. even know how to watch this thing. <laughs> mommy, this is mommy's computer. Alright, do you wanna um I I'm I feel Grayson, did you change your name on the computer? Threw me off there for a second. Who's Grayson? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Grayson? Can you see me again? Who's Grayson? All right. Now that we got that all situated and sorted. All right, let's go ahead and start off with a warm-up. So from here. We're going to take our hands. We're going to take one knee up, other elbow in, just like so. Andre, you know this is recording and they can see you not doing this, right? I can send it to your parents and show them. Something going on. Oh, I think I know what fell. I think there's some cases. All right. Wait, I'm way back into net problems. I keep cutting off. Yeah, because I don't see your video. Yeah, yeah keep cutting off. Okay, do your best, Reed, all right? Do your best, okay? Okay, but I can't control this thing. I don't even know how this works because mommy turns it on. This is mommy's computer. All right, well, just do the best you can, okay? All right, now you're going to bring your knee up, high knees, just like so. Wow, well, my necklace decides to twist 300 things. There we go. Go, 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 go. All right, let's do squats. Excellent, and jumping jacks. Perfect. Lunges. Let's go, Lion. Lunges, very good. All right, now Frankenstein's.
Okay, arm circles forward. Backwards. Arm swings. Very good, arms up and down. Hands by our back, here's the shoulder. Up and down. Left to right. Head circles. Other way. Very good. Tension. Balcony. Jumbi. All right. From here, let's go ahead first, jump into your board breaking requirement. All right. We're working on side kicks. Okay. If you do not board break. All right. And you can work for work on this with your sparring as well. All right. So there are three stationary and side kicks that you are welcome to do. Okay. Uh, first one is really better for sparring, but you can use it for board breaking if you ultimately want to. Okay. First one is a number one side kick. All right. This is where you all you do is take your front leg, bring your knee to your chest, foot comes up, push out, bring it back into your chest, and then set it down. Now, of course, if you're board breaking, then you're not going to bring it back. You're going to land it through, right? You're trying to send all of your body that way, that direction, okay? That's fine, tie your belt. So hands are up, knee comes up, Kick out and sit it down. All right, ready? Here we go. Hands up, spine stance. We're going to do it my count. Ready? And one, two. Good. Now get your hands out of the way. Get them up. Three, four, and five. One thing I love is Grayson has a, uh, looks like a dinner tray basically, and it has a pillow on top of it, and he's yes, kicking I, above that. He's kicking above I'm, that, so he's using that to make sure he can. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to hit him. Good. Well, that's good. So that is something you can do at home as well, for all of you. Find something that's about belt level-ish, or roughly there, okay? Find something that's about hip level, and then utilize that to try to kick over it, all right? For example, I could easily, it's a little short, but it works, grab a chair and use the back of it to make sure I don't touch the chair, just like so, all right? So you're welcome, everyone's welcome to do that if you have something that you can utilize, okay? Here we go. Let's go other side. Grayson, that's a good, that's, those are beautiful sidekicks, by the way. Sidekicks are good for you. Ready? Other side, hands up. And one, two, three, 
Four. Good, now hands up. Five. Excellent. Okay, next one we have is a number two side kick. That's a back leg side kick. So you're going, what you're going to do, you're gonna first have to turn, I'll switch to this side. You're first gonna have to turn your whole body and lift that foot up. Okay, you're gonna take your whole, you're gonna lift this back leg up, twist your whole body and bring that knee into your chest. Then, after that, all it is is going through again. The thing is though, is do not pause, okay? When you pause, you're taking all that energy and momentum you just got and giving it away. Okay, when you're doing a number two side kick, you want a non-stop move, okay? Now this one could be used for a side kick, for a board break for a side kick, okay? This one could be used. You come around just like so, okay? That is an option, all right? Works good for a board breaking. Sparring you can do, just remember sparring, you wanna make sure you don't have a lot of power, you have more control, okay? So that's the next one we're going to do, is a number two side kick, a back leg side kick. All right, so everyone get your sparring stance. Hands up. All right. All right, Trigger, do you have a question? Yes. What's your question? Can you just show me it again? Yes. Back leg lifts up, comes all the way around, and kicks out. Keeping your hands up. Okay? All right. From here, everyone sparring stance, hands up. All right, number two side kick. Three, hands up. Sparring stance. And one. Two. Three, four, get that kick up higher, Reed, and five. Good, Brown, get that kick up a little higher too. Wanna to be belt level. All right, other foot. Hands up. Ready, and one. So now you're gonna twist the other direction, yes. Two. Three. Four. And five. Very good. Now remember one of those things that you need for to break the board is you need to have follow through all the way and you need to give it all you've got you need to snap it out, okay? So when you're here, what I mean by that is instead of just doing this, just kind of landing it, you know, just being there, you want it to pop. You want to come all the way through, strike, so that way you go through the board, okay? Your other option, which is usually the most preferred option, is the one that 95% of everybody does when they do a side kick, okay? It is a number three step side kick, all right? So step side kick. You have a spin side kick, that's for when you get to a black belt when you have to do a jump or spin, okay? But for a step side kick, you're in a sitting stance, you know, nice and wide, you're gonna step behind your foot, and then side kick through, okay? That one is usually, like I said, the most preferred. Now going from this direction, remember, you're gonna take that foot and step behind your foot. Okay, you wanna make sure you step behind. Step behind, come up, and kick out. Same thing with this one. You want full motion the whole way through. You don't want to pause. Okay? But additionally, when you step, my, bit, my foot, foot is going to pivot. So I'm going to step this direction, still looking this way, but my foot is pointing this way now. So that way my foot's already pivoted. One of the things that is important for any kick that you do is making sure you pivot correctly. Okay, whether you pivot for a front kick, pivot for a side kick, pivot for a round kick, and all the other kicks. Okay, hook kick, all that good stuff. You wanna make sure you pivot and then side kick. That'll help, pivoting helps make sure you stay safe. Okay, you don't hurt anything. But it also makes sure you have good balance. Pivoting keeps you 
make sure you have keep good balance. Okay, and balance is important when you're doing a kick, especially for forward kicking, right? If you don't have balance and your bodies are going wobbly, then all your energy is not going that direction. Okay? So that's the next one of the step side kicks. So everyone's sparring, uh, sitting stance. Sitting stance. And one. Good. Grayson, that kick was above your head, by the way. Two. Good, excellent. Now I said that, Grayson, by the way, as a compliment, just note though that in board breaking, you really don't want to try to be kicking like head level. You want to keep that hip level, okay? So that way your body, your energy is going horizontally and not up. Okay, it's going out. All right, but kicking above your head is a good thing. Three. Good, Andre. Keep those hands up though. Four. All right, Trika, keep those hands up. Five. All right. Okay, from here, we're going to now work on the other side. So we're here, hands are up. Ready, and one. Two. Remember, you're stepping behind, so I know that gets confusing. Uh, especially for those of you, this is the first couple, few, quite a few times you're working on it. You get used to step behind with this foot. So when you go here, you're like, oh, my foot goes here. No, it doesn't. Remember, it goes behind. Okay, so the foot you're stepping, you're moving with, does go behind. So that way you're able to bring your knee up. Because if you cross in front, you can't bring your knee up. All right, not without at least moving some way. Okay. Here we go. And three. Four. Five. Excellent. Excellent. Now there is one stepping motion that you can step in front with. Okay. You can step in front with. And that is for a step round kick, all right? So when you're here, you step round kick. Now that one we don't really use much for a lot of things. That one could be used though for sparring because then you're, you're kind of making them think you're doing something with this leg or then you come to this leg, okay? So, but now let's go ahead and move into the form. Now we're gonna move into the form section. All right, we're going to get to, Sorry, it's exciting for it. You know, Reed, that's one of the best things that I know for a fact that um, I've noticed for quite a while is how excited you are for the forms. I remember when I first started that forms was something that was not your favorite. And so for you to look forward to forms now means a lot. I just want to be able to pass testing. That's correct. Yes, I want you to pass testing. I want everybody to pass testing. I want everyone to get their next belt, whether especially, it's black belt or not. Especially if they're getting their black belt. Yeah. All right. So from here, let's work on the form. Okay. Goal is to get halfway through the intermediate section. All right. Halfway through the intermediate. Then next week, probably be able to should be able to finish off the intermediate section. Okay. We're actually going pretty good pace. We're at a pretty good pace here. All righty. So, from here, everyone go to Jumi. Chamber your hands. One, open hand square block. Chamber out. Two, open hand high block. And inverted knife hand. Reed, stay with me, sir. All the way around, double knife hand. Reach out and grab, step forward, spear. Now your left foot should be in front, and you should be spearing. Uh, remember this spear is flat. You're in a good front stance, and it's going behind you, back towards me, towards the front, double knife hand. Side kick the back, 
Come on, right hand again towards me. That is the end of the beginner section. Take a minute or two, work on that. Okay, work on the beginner section. Even if you've done a, couple, a class or two this week where you've done some of the intermediate stuff already, it's always good to just start off slow and then keep continue building. So work on the beginner section. Working on those stances. Make sure those stances look good. Make sure we're not going too fast. Okay, you want to go at a decent speed. Good, I'm looking at everybody's form right now, seeing how everyone's doing. Mia, Anna, do you have a question? I see everybody's form. I see everyone doing their form. What did you forget, Jalil? You can unmute yourself too if you want. I forgot the spirit. I forgot the form. I forgot the. I forgot a lot of the form. All right, hold on, Grayson. Jalil was talking. Lot, Jalil. I've had a lot, a lot of stuff going on lately. And I didn't, and I had, and I rarely had any time to practice. All right, Grayson, we'll work on it uh, here in a second. But Jalil was talking. So well, let me listen to what Jalil was saying. What did you say, Jalil? I don't remember the spare hand punch or whatever. Okay, we'll review again here too. I'll work with you and Grayson at the same time. How about that? Okay. All right, all right, Chico, you have a question too? Yes. One. Yes, ma'am. What's the question? After the open hand square block, mm -hmm. when we after the open hand square block, when we do the high block, is it open hand? Yes. Right? Yes. So when you're here and you step forward, each well, I'll just go back. When you're here and you step forward, yes, it is both still open hand. That's correct. All right, Jalil and Grayson, just follow along with me. Anybody else that wants to uh, work on each move collectively as well, uh, you're welcome to work with, uh, stay, uh, work with me, uh, stay with me as well, okay? Well, from here, we're going to be open hand chamber on the side. Jalil, where'd you go? Okay, there you are. Grayson, we're working on the form, I'm helping you out. So we're open hand on the side. We're going to step this direction, open hand square block. We're going to reach our hand, this hand out, so this hand comes to our ear. High block, step forward, inverted knife hand. Good. Now, both hands are going to go out in front of us. We're going to go all the way around, back towards the front, around to the other side, double knife hand. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, getting really confused, like a lot. Okay, confused on what? On all of it. Okay, all right, let's go back to your knee then. Open hand, both sides on top of each other. To the left, open hand square block. So both hands are open. The hand is doing the knife hand, reaches out. The hand is doing the high block, comes to our ear. Now this hand that's out, we're going to do a high block. We're going to take our right leg, step forward into a front stance, inverted knife hand. Both got... hands go out in front of us, kind of like alligator. All right, it's like the easiest, that's the first thing that comes to mind for me. I come all the way around, double knife hand. Good, now from here, the hand that's out, I'm going to reach and grab. Other hand that's on our belt, or on our chest is gonna go down to our belt. We're gonna step forward with our left foot into a front stance, spear with our left hand. Now from here, both hands are gonna go now behind us, we're going to come back to the front, double knife hand. 
sidekick behind us, chamber, lame again, double knife hand. Okay, and the important part of that move is when you sidekick, when you bring it back, you hold your balance, chamber, and then you lay everything together. So, Grayson, I want you to just focus on the beginner section today. All right, since you haven't got much practice, I don't want to overload you. All right, so just focus on that part, okay? Jalil, same thing for you as well, all right? Focus on just that part. So that way you get that part down. We can catch you back up next week, or, you know, we can do a private lesson and catch you all up too, all right? Because uh, Jalil, what belt are you now? Are you still an intermediate? Are you an intermediate or still a beginner? I'm orange belt. Do what? Orange belt. You're an orange belt. Okay, so you are still a beginner. So that is the end, that is actually the end of your form. Okay, so focus on just that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody else, we're going to add on. So everyone else, let's go to the double knife hand. The end of the beginner section. Reed, that's you too. Lion, that's you too. We're at the end of the beginner section. Andrea, that's you as well. Anna and Mia, your video is frozen, but just to make sure y'all know it's you as well. Rayon, you're ready. That's good. All right. From here, we're going to step two times. And then our back leg, our right foot, is going to side kick. Land in front of us, double to nine hands. Okay, so from this direction, this is what it looks like. I'm here, one, two, jump side kick, land, double to nine hands. Now I know that we're baby stepping that walk in it, but that is a run. So eventually you're gonna wanna start working on it where you run, jump side kick. All right. So now, add those two moves in. Mr. Estes. Yes, ma'am. To the front, and then you side kick behind you, and then land double knife hand again. And that's it. That's the end of your section. Three question. Can you go? Can you um go to the west of the part of section two? Can we will we, or at least what we practice um on Tuesday. Yes, we will do that here in just a second. Good, because I don't remember anything past what we just did. Right here, after the jump sidekick. That's okay. That's why we're just adding that in for now. We'll add the rest in in a second. Okay. I need a, I don't know, 10 seconds, maybe. All right. Okay, from here, now let's go into a pass some more. All right, so for everyone that just did that, did the run jump, everyone started at the end of section one, double knife hand, run jump side kick, go ahead and double knife hand. Now from here, left hand is going to chamber on top. We're going to go from looking to the front of us. We're going to spin to look behind us, and then we're going to spin just a little bit more to look to this side. Land in a back stance, low block. Okay, so you should be facing away from me at this moment. Be facing towards the back. All right, let's do that again. 
So right, double knife hand. So we just did the jump, run jump side kick. We landed, we're here. We're gonna chamber left hand on top. Spin almost all the way around to land the low block. From here, hands come to our belt, open-handed. We're gonna transition into a front stance. So when I say transition, our feet don't really move. Or the, the front foot stays the front foot. We're going to grab to this side, to the side, Reed, not behind you, towards the other couch. There you go. Knee smack, land feet come together, facing the front again. Left hand goes out, right hand is on our belt. We're gonna step into a front stance, ridge hand, reinforced ridge hand. Now with the ridge hand, it is also flat. Okay, it's not a spear, it is a flat, just like the beginner section spear. Okay, so let's do that again. So let's now put all that together. All right, so. Is that, all, is that all of section two? What? Is that all of section two? Nope, but that's about halfway. That's where everyone's been getting this week. Okay. All right, so we're at your feet. Open hand square block. Step, high block inverted knife hand. All the way around, double knife hand. Step forward, spear. To the front, double knife hand. Side kick behind us, land double knife hand. Run, jump, side kick, land it, double knife hand. I want to scoot back so that way you can see me. Left hand chambers on top. We go all the way around, low block. Hands come to our belt, transition to a front stance. Head grab. Back leg knee, bend your feet together. Hands chamber, this hand up, out, this one's on our belt. Step to this side. Reinforce for And a front stance. All right. Okay. Practice that for the next minute or so. Then we're gonna almost wrap up class. If you have questions on any of that, let me know. I am watching everybody. I hope we're gonna have time to get into the self-defense today, but we'll do that another day. Give me another 30 seconds. Um, Mr. Estes? Yes, sir? What time does class end? When I end it. Usually? When I end it. We're almost done. Like six more minutes. When I ended, I was answering someone else's question. I already answered it. The answer is when I say it's in over. It could be a minute from now, it could be six minutes from now, it could be six hours from now. Fun story when I was in class, when I was go going up through uh, color ranks, just like all of you are, when I was. Uh, Whenever a, a student asked the instructor how much longer till class is over, he would add another minute. Was, at one point there was probably seven or so kids that eventually asked. So we left seven minutes later. So my, the moral of the story is, don't worry, your instructor knows the time. All right, so from here, let's go ahead, everyone bring it in.
We'll go over announcements really quickly. Mr. Estes, so imagine if imagine everybody in that if there was a full class. Yep. With like the big old class. Yep. If everybody asked what time it was, it'd be like twenty or thirty minutes more. Yep. yep. Never got that far, but it could have. So, uh, announcements this Saturday. Okay, today is yes, today is Thursday. My mind's gone crazy. Uh, today is remember the last day for the virtual class classes for Warrior Ranks. Okay, this is uh, Saturday. We will have normal classes for in person uh, for the morning, and then also if you are a black belt or an instructor, we will have the virtuals for those classes. Okay, uh, but. Beyond that, this Saturday on September 19th is Nerf Wars Parents Night Out at the New Albany location. All right, the New Albany location. It Wait. is from six to ten. From six to ten, make sure you get signed up for it. Okay, uh, and then I believe, uh, from my knowledge, we are serving pizza, safest thing to serve, especially during these times, things of that nature. So make sure you get signed up for that. Remember, we do provide the. Hold on, Reed. I know you. You got a question, buddy. I'll get to you in a second. Um, uh, we provide the nerf nerf darts and the eye protection. All you gotta do is bring the nerf nerf weapon. Okay, so, but it's on Saturday, this Saturday, two days from now, like pretty much forty eight hours from now, um, six to ten. Nerf Wars parents sign up. All right, for those of you that may not have a nerf weapon. Uh, we do have a couple, but try not to rely on us having having some, okay? Try to make sure you have your own. Uh, we do have a couple that we could potentially... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm coming. You awesome. know I'm coming. Well, good to hear. To the, well, to the Nerf Wars. That's good. That's good to hear. I I'll haven't signed up yet. Uh, well, make sure you get signed up. That way we know who's, okay. who's all going to be there. Reed, what's your question? Yay. Wait, wait. There will be no more virtual classes anymore? Oh, no, 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 we will. We'll still have virtual classes, um, just no, no more this week. So Monday, so Monday we'll have virtual class. Okay, so like Tuesday we will? Yes. Yes. Oh, good. I yes. Don't, don't. I was just saying, I just knew, I just know that on Saturdays we had virtual classes for everybody still. So I want to make sure that everyone knows that don't hop on Saturday because it will not be your class, okay? All right, parents night out. I'll repeat again, parents night out, Saturday from six o'clock to 10 o'clock. All right, starts at six. Can you repeat when the Nerf battle starts? I just did, but okay, I'll do it again. Six to 10. Okay, moving on. On what day? October 3rd is the fourth annual chili cook-off. Okay, that is not the following Saturday, but Saturday after is the annual chili cook-off. If you want to participate and enter to be in the competition, then uh, there is a sign-up sheet, a form sheet that you have to fill out here. Um, we can also mail it to you or email it to you if you want, if parents want. Uh, but if you want to participate in that, then, particip uh, then make sure you get that. Uh, so that way we know that you're participating, okay, as well. If not, you're highly encouraged to come and have some chili hang out with all of us, talk with all of us, and things of nature too, okay? Any questions? Bye. Bye. All right, if you don't have a question, you are dismissed, I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.